Collective. It's me, Siren and the Dragon. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead, subscribe, like, comment, and share the video. So let's see here what is coming out for the collective. For the collective, I see some growth. You have manifested some growth into your life, ended out some type of cycles here, and moved forward. And this is allowing you to grow in a major way. I feel like there could have been some people who are obsessed with you or yeah they were obsessed with you there were people who were sending out evil eyes towards you but all that is coming to an end they're creating blockages but i feel like now it's time for you to self-reflect and you're doing so you could have been um in an energy where it's you could be in an energy now where you're releasing things that don't serve you you're, you're hiring and firing accordingly um those in your life and i feel like this is helping you to grow and manifest in a different way i feel like you're moving away from these childish individuals who are secretly sending you evil eye and choosing to move towards an upgrade here you're being guided towards an upgrade by your angels so let's clarify what this death card is this dead what is over on uh, what is over for the collective something is over and i feel like this is helping you to master independence self-sufficiency i feel like you're choosing to trust your own intuition now and you've manifested this you could have been in your head because there was a lot of manipulative energy around you um but i feel like now you're choosing to walk away from that energy and this is because there was a lot of illusions here it's little do you know this unknown path that you're going down is going to bring you a lot of victory and success here collective so let's see what's growth what is growth yeah this this sneaky type of energy was hindering your growth and i feel like you've evolved from that you're now going towards a ten of pen of a ten of cups. There could have also been you could also be growing beyond um, seeking validation from family members as well here and choosing to move forward towards a ten of cups, towards something that is a total wish fulfillment for you. What is manifest? This is something that you've been manifesting, something that you've been praying for. There's a reconciliation coming in here for you um, that's going to feel very grounded and successful and very like passionate and intense here i feel like now um this now it's like with the blockages let's clarify blockages yes i feel like you're praying your way out of this blockage there could have been a blockage between you and your feminine side and now you're growing into that feminine side i feel like someone also could have been being weighed down by family members um who possibly could have been holding on to them mentally and i feel like this was blocking your foundation of uh peace and healing okay i feel like let's see what else somebody here is also weighed down by the things that have been going on within this situation there's been a lot of conflict here because you know like i said this is this stemmed from evil eye these people here were not really loving they were they were sending evil energy towards you side eyeing you whoever this empress is this could be a mother figure or a baby mother figure or could be an auntie or someone who it could also just be a libra here what's what's the evil eye evil eye yeah that's the truth somebody was sending you evil eye somebody secretly didn't want the best for you they were just obsessed with you and your energy and keeping you a state stuck in a cycle i feel like now that is over with with the death card things are coming to an end and this is helping you to bring justice into your life with the queen of, a king of cups i feel like now you're able to have control over your emotions this person from the past possibly could have had a lot of control over your emotions by um way of like judgment by casting judgment onto you but let's clarify this obsessed they were obsessed with keeping you in an energy of feeling like small in a way or feeling like you always needed them. What's this obsession? Yeah, obsession with the three of swords. This is this kind of like breaks your heart because somebody here could have been um, somebody wasn't choosing to heal. This person, this obsessive individual was not choosing to heal. They were always in a heartbroken type of bitter type energy, always missing out on opportunities here. And I feel like this could be your energy. And now it's like you're choosing to release that because you could have, you know, missed out on a lot of opportunities, leaving this, leaving out a lot of positive energy in order to take care of this individual here who genuinely did not actually appreciate you. So let's see, what's this? Yeah, 
king of wands i feel like this king of wands is taking action to close out this cycle here well whatever this energy is with this empress person so let's see what's this self-reflection 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 i feel like somebody's having to evaluate themselves and really choose what they want for themselves and which direction they want to move forward here. I feel like um, in doing so, you will have a lot of victory and success. You could have been stuck in this space for a long time because you were avoiding self-reflection. Um, and this, I feel like now is going to be some type of bad news here for someone who was attached to you because you ghosted them. You now start to, you're seeing through whatever this was that was blinding you. And now you're ready here to commit to something or something is coming in for you and upgrade. So let's clarify the grass. The grass was fake. That queen of swords in reverse was somebody who was fake. Okay. Somebody who played on your downfall of you having, you being like in a weak state of mind and being all overly emotional and feeling like, oh, woe is me and I'll never find real love. Now you're going to be able to take a risk and move forward towards something that, um, means more to you i feel like it's going to be more secure no well, i don't want to say means more to you but it'll feel more secure here something that is stable a stable mentality i feel like you're pulling back your energy and nurturing yourself um this grass was fake with somebody here who was holding on to you and, and like i said holding on to you being in a in a small kind of childish mind frame here with the um with the knight of cups i feel like someone could come towards you holding out love because they're stressed out about you getting into an emperor energy. Um, and I feel like they're trying to win at all costs and they don't want to be fired from your life here. So let's see, what's this fire determination? But I feel like you're not going to fire this person. You're just going to, you're just going to pull back a little bit. You could just pull back a little bit because somebody here, it was like a control mechanism. Somebody was using a belief system as a way to be controlling and be and and make you feel, you know, like something was wrong. And I feel like it was an emotional manipulation type of thing. What's this um, fired card? Fired. I feel like this could have been, this could have been where you were once seeking like some type of spiritual guidance. Hold on too many cards what's this fire card fired yeah two of swords i feel like you're finally breaking out of that shell and trusting your intuition i feel like you're firing anybody else from um telling you what it is that you need to do with your life and you're bringing justice for yourself because in the past you could have regretted releasing an energy that was actually good for you or you could have regretted taking the advice of somebody who was actually not so good for you and who made themselves appear to be good for you out of a state of like illusion here so what's this upgrade 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 i feel like this upgrade is coming in here very quickly here this could have been something where I feel like you you waited a long time for this, but now it's here. It's finally here. This upgrade is coming as you choose to cut off this kind of like um, this sad energy. Whoever is getting cut off, this devil karmic energy is actually, you know, they're going to be angry. They're going to be upset um, because you're turning your back on the situation. But it's just too much conflict here. It's not in alignment. It's too, it's, it's keeping you in a childish mindset. It's keeping you in like a... Yeah, Childish was the card on the bottom. And I feel like it's keeping you in the King of Swords energy. And now you're ready to get into a space where you want to be um, you want to be in a King of Cups energy. A very balanced emotional energy. And I feel like in the past, this could have been you moving from a space of bitterness. And this was keeping you mentally trapped. With the King of Swords, you're cutting yourself free from that Eight of Swords. This is a part of your destiny to move forward and find the strength to see through these illusions here. What else? Yeah, I feel like there could, yeah, like something was keeping you very small and childish in a way. Something wasn't, something was not helping you. And I feel like now you're going to go towards this commitment. Somebody's taking action towards a, a commitment, whether this be a commitment to yourself or an actual relationship that you've had on your mind. It's coming in here very quickly for you. Some type of healing is going to be brought to the situation. Some balance is going to be brought in. Someone here is coming in to win at all costs. They um they wanna they wanna 
they want to give and receive here someone here wants to give and receive but this is something that has not been exactly expressed towards you someone could have been intuitively like um stuck in a mindset or somebody could have been somebody is now trusting their intuition and making the judgment call could have in the past not have done that and went through a lot of extra drama and trauma um by uh, involving themselves in different distractions let's say I feel like it's also here that somebody, yeah, somebody here regrets kind of like, or somebody here is in like a work mode. So they're only, they're only, you know, focusing on work and they're focusing on increasing their spirituality or their spiritual practices. Somebody's really truly working on themselves so that they can find their way towards this two of cups commitment energy here, this wish fulfillment. This is what's coming in for the collective. Yeah, someone finding the confidence to go down this unknown path that they've been um, manifesting and stuck on for a while. So this will be this this will bring in a lot of balance here with the emperor here. This will bring in a lot of balance, and um, somebody's coming back. Somebody is coming out of the cold. Okay, somebody no longer wants to feel cold. Yeah, they want to bring in healing. This is going to cause a major tower for you. A major tower because this is something that maybe you know it's like a happy surprise something that you weren't exactly expecting but it's coming in here for you because someone has grown beyond whatever has delayed um, this beginning for you okay so let's see what's coming in here with these cards real quick What is coming in here? Power. Somebody reclaiming their powers. Taking back control over their life. Getting in alignment with their destiny here. Lightening their load. Releasing things that no longer serve them. 8 and 10 here. Could be between 8 and 10 days. There's something new that's growing. Something new is growing. 5 and 3 also make 8. There's a new beginning coming in here. Um, this could have been something that's circling back around, some type of foundation. I feel like it could have been cut in the past because someone here was um, trusting, like I said before, envious people, people who were secretly giving them a side eye. This could have been people within their family here. But I feel like now someone has seen how their choices and decisions based off of someone else who is envious and deceptive has um, led them into a space of disruption when all they have to do is trust their intuition from the beginning and um, they would have had the victory and the success that they desired. But someone now is choosing to take action towards that wish fulfillment. I feel like someone is reclaiming their power and getting ready to bring balance into their life here, trusting their intuition. Yep, accelerated motion here accelerated motion someone's been through so much heartache and pain but it's now they have to stand their ground someone could be a mental conflict really worried about what's going to happen if they move in this direction but i feel like through standing your ground someone here it needs to know that you will be protected by the universe the universe supports your decision and whatever this is that you're being intuitively led to do here what else for the collective Yeah, follow your heart. You're being led to follow your heart and move forward and make a sacrifice here. You have to sacrifice something in order to get to that to the to that uh to that rainbow. You have to get to the other side here. One last message. Yeah, and this requires you to go alone. The healing journey and the, the journey that you're on requires you to go alone. This could be someone here who is chosen um, by their ancestors in order to um, beat some type of battle here that's going on throughout their, throughout their bloodline um, where a lot of people have suffered in silence. Um, and I feel like now you're going to have to make that sacrifice and move forward here. Now you're now you're you're being called to move forward and walk in your truth. Okay, 
walk in your truth because you again you are supported by the universe the universe is supporting you okay there's no greater time than now to be to walk in your truth here trust your intuition the waiting game. I feel like somebody could have been waiting and hoping, but I feel like whatever this is that you desire is here for you if you choose to stand up off of the shore and step into the water. Emotional withdrawal. Somebody has been pulling back. But what's next is when you choose to move forward and make your decision is um, prosperity in the physical realm and in, in the spiritual realm. Total wish fulfillment. Things are going to change. Yes. Your finances and things will change, but you will have total wish fulfillment because that's not, it's not, that's not permanent. The change that you're going through is not permanent. There will be a, a, a solid foundation that's coming in here for you with an ally or a partner where you two will be very uh, triumphant and successful um, at each other's side here. Yeah, prosperity begins and then we got spiritual union on the bottom of the deck. So intuitively, you know what it is that... Um, what's coming in here you're get ready because it's coming in quick and it's coming in pretty fast with the way that everything just kind of spilled out of me <laughs> it's coming in like boom 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 like hello hi i'm here let's do it <laughs> so good luck guys i'll see you in the next one subscribe